In this video, we are overclocking the Intel Arc A380 up to 2900 megahertz in five minutes or less using Shamino's Arc OC tool and custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the OC settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. If you want to learn how to overclock this Arc A380, please have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. Open the Acer Predator Bifrost overclocking software. That is the tool we'll use to increase the power limits beyond what's possible with the Intel Arc Control software. Create a new profile, then close the software. Now browse to App Data Roaming Predator Bifrost and open the settings file. This file contains the settings for each profile in the Bifrost software, including our custom profile. Look for your custom profile and change the power limit value to anything you want. Make sure to save the file. Then open the Acer Predator Bifrost software again and activate your custom profile. Upon activation, the power limits are applied. Close the Acer Predator Bifrost software. Open the Shamino Work Tool software. This tool provides a simple user interface that exposes the overclocking knobs available in the publicly accessible Intel Graphics Control library. Under the Intel tab, click on Arc OC. Now we have two ways to overclock the Arc graphics, offset mode and lock mode. Offset mode allows you to extend and offset the factory fused voltage frequency curve. Lock mode will enable you to set a specific frequency and voltage for the active voltage frequency point. That's the one we'll be using in this video. Set OC lock frequency to 2900. Set OC lock voltage to 0.96. This voltage is offset by about 190 millivolt and thus results in an actual voltage of approximately 1.15 volt. Set OC temp limit to 95. Then click apply to confirm the settings. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. With a graphics frequency now 19% higher than stock, we see a performance uplift in most benchmarks. We see a maximum performance improvement of plus 19.82% in Geekbench 5 Vulkan. When running Fermark GPU stress test, the average GPU clock is 2902 MHz with 1.155 volts and the GPU memory clock is 1,937 MHz. The average GPU global temperature is 53.3 degrees Celsius, and the average GPU power is 79.743 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support, and see you next time.